Alright, so for those of you that want to understand malware phishing and ransomware, this video is for you. You've been hearing about attacks in cyber security, but you seem not to understand what they mean. You seem not to understand how they work, how they operate. This video is for you. I'm going to be explaining malware phishing and ransomware. First thing first, malware is a software, malicious software. That is where you get the word malware from malicious software and it is mainly designed to damage systems okay it's it's a software that you write okay hackers they write malicious softwares and they are called malware what they basically do is to infect systems they, and they use virus worms and trojans you guys know what trojan is if you don't know let me quickly explain trojan this thing started from i, I can't remember the year now where you know in out of war they will design trojan horse and there will be something behind it and they just use that to infiltrate the enemy line all right it's just something that was designed to wage war so trojan horse basically is something that present to you as something however underneath it something else is there say for instance they ask you to fill a form or they ask you to uh, click a link or they ask you to even download something that is the common one when you're downloading the file you're looking at the file for real but the file has been embedded with a malicious software so that file is what they call trojan horse okay it's a trojan and there's virus there are worms as well okay so malicious software is malware let's take a look at it this way you are a software engineer you're a programmer you know how to write code and you want to use c sharp let's say you want to use python or java to write a malicious software to, to infect users what you basically want to write is a software to perform a function but everyone that are interacting with that software they do not know that it's a malware that it is a malicious software so from what i've said malware number one is a software all right number two it is malicious okay so they just write it it could be in form of virus could be in form of worms and it could be in form of trojan that is for malware now for phishing phishing is simply tricking individuals to giving away sensitive information let me ask you this have you ever received a call or have you ever seen a text message have you ever seen an email that says let's say for instance that you received a text message that says that your usps delivery cannot be delivered because the address is not correct please click the link below or click the link on this text to fill the right address that is phishing you see you receive an email that says this is your bank we realize that someone tries to get access to your bank can you please confirm that you're the one or not by putting in your username and password so we know that it is you now what they're trying to do is to trick you to reveal sensitive information so that is what they call phishing phishing is simply tricking you to reveal or to give sensitive data or information something that you will not give out on a good day for instance another example they can also ask you for your social security card social security number right there are some times that you receive an email that you've gotten that they want to employ you or they want to interview you and then they need you to send in your social security card your driver's license everything that you've got they ask you to send it to them before they can do conduct an interview for you you know of course no recruiting agency will ask you for all that before they talk to you so you know that is simply a phishing attack all right now ransomware is a type of malware listen to this ransom and where that is software right and then ransom so let me read what i have here a type of malware that encrypts a victim's file with the attacker demanding ransom to restore access and it is projected that ransom damage costs are predicted to hit 20 billion as of 2021 20 billion dollars as of 2021 uh, I was reading IBM report for ransomware is now at about 40 something billion dollars. Listen to that very clearly. 
ransomware from IBM report is about 40 something billion dollars now you already know what that means from what I've said software and ransom simply what do they do they encrypt your file even encrypt your entire infrastructure okay what is encryption you cannot make sense you cannot interact with your file you cannot interact with your infrastructure like you can't do nothing okay this now belongs to the attacker they control your file or they control your infrastructure you can log into your laptop and you see that your entire files are encrypted you can't do nothing and then what they would ask you for is send us some money and we will send you the key to put into that so that you can decrypt it and then it becomes open for you to use that is ransomware and how do people really fall for all the things that we've highlighted ransomware malware and phishing is basically clicking what you're not supposed to click um, trying to do the things you're not supposed to do because you're not being careful it is when you're not being careful or when you do not have adequate information or education about security awareness that is when you fall prey into that these three attacks they need you they need human cooperation to be able to function and to be able to execute all right if you do not do anything they can't execute it for instance ransomware you need to give the attackers a loophole to get into your system before they can download a payload that encrypts your entire infrastructure or your files so malware like we said is a malicious software okay we're talking about virus worms trojan phishing is tricking you to reveal sensitive information or reveal a sensitive data okay ransomware is attackers using a malicious software to encrypt all your data or your files and then they ask you to pay ransom mostly through bitcoin for them to release and then decrypt your files i hope that is clear if you disagree with everything i've said now please i want to learn from you put it in the comment section and if you agree let me see your thumbs up as well and if you enjoy this content and you want more like this i want you to like subscribe and share this particular content and trust me you're going to be getting a lot more also if you want to have a time with me like this with my team on zoom put your information there trust me my team will reach out to you and they will invite you and we're going to be on zoom call to have a nice time together i hope that helps you i will see you on the next one